if you're new to my YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button and remember to click the bell icon to get notifications of all my uploads throughout the week. It's Monday the 18th of December and it's a quarter past three and I've just finished work for the day. Um, this job that we're doing for this charity ball has really got complicated. It's gone from being a 16 page brochure to a 20 page brochure to a 24 page brochure. Um, not only that but we've also had to design from scratch a couple of the adverts and stuff because the people um, that are advertising in this brochure for the ball haven't supplied artwork on time and all that kind of stuff oh, and it's just been a bit of a nightmare but we're getting there we're just waiting for one half page advert now and then it's all done so that can go to print over the Christmas period ready for the ball in January so I've also had a few other little jobs to go with it some like advertising bottle hangers for bottles of wine to sit on the tables for that have been sponsored and all that kind of stuff so all good fun um keeping us very very busy because i've done a few bits and pieces of my stuff today but not a lot um i had a project go live for indigo blue this morning but it was only it was only a card project so nothing um, starkly. I didn't even do a video for it so it was literally just making a greetings card um, an all occasion greetings card wasn't even Christmas or a birthday or anything like that it was just one that you could literally send to anybody for anything um, using a indigo blue stamp set so so there was that um, and that was it really we stopped for lunch at 12 and didn't really just ploughed on with all the jobs today so I'm now on my way to the supermarket um, I've got a few bits and pieces that I need to stock up on uh, and purchase in readiness for Christmas not doing the full grocery shop for Christmas because there's no point mum and dad are coming over on Saturday morning and then we'll go do all the, f the fresh veggie shopping and all that kind of stuff it's one of those things that um, me and mum do um, every year we do the shopping and then come back and then we bake so I spend Christmas Eve baking with my mum so I'm looking forward to that um, last year we did lots and lots of mince pies and um, cinnamon cookies and all kinds of stuff it's absolutely lovely I really really look forward to it every year um, so there's that so I'm not gonna be doing that much shopping because we'll be doing the bulk of it later on so it's just stuff to get us over this week really so and in the time it's taken me to actually talk to you um, I've arrived at the supermarket because it's not that far away so I now need to go and find somewhere to park because it looks very busy somebody's feeling better give me five nice to see you <laughs> no no give me five good lad So it's Tuesday the 19th and I've just finished creating the uh, prompt card for January's mission inspiration so for 2018 while I was doing that I thought to myself I think what I'm going to do in 2018 is do all of the mission inspiration monthly challenges and all of the mid-month mini missions and do them in one separate brand new 8x8 art journal a bit like this one now this was my 8 inch by 8 inch junk and disorderly art journal the one that I did the denim back and pocket on which there is a video for um, but this is just a, 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 like an everyday art journal that I did lots of different things in um, throughout the year but they're not necessarily all mission inspiration ones so I think I'm going to create a separate art journal just for the mission inspiration so I've got the back from a, a 16 inch uh, watercolour 
pad. This was a um, Dale Rowney, it's 300 GSM, 140 pound watercolour cardstock, and I've removed the back um, to create the two 8 inch by 8 inch squares. So I do have some um, smaller bits left over once I've cut them down from the back that made the pad up, but they just happen to be also the same size as my new tag journal. What a happy happenstance. So they're going to get put to one side for my new tag journal and I'm also going to make these up for my new mission inspiration art journal. So I'm going to create it so it's got book rings. So I have two mismatched book rings and I've got my cropper dial. So what I'll need to do, because I like to keep the holes in the same place, I'm going to take one of the sheets, probably that last sheet that I did for Christmas, and I'm going to use that as a template for the holes for the cover. So I will just lay that, I need a pen of some description, and if I lay that just so, I can just go through and just mark where the holes are. Dead easy and simple way to create an art journal that you're not struggling to keep flat. So I'll just punch that out. Typical. Because it's thick, get out. And again. What I can do is once I've done all four of these, I'll just line that back up, grab the pen again, just go through. So rather than having a bound journal, having a journal that's got the book rings on means you can take out and add work flat I know sometimes the other art journals that you can buy, once they start getting full of modelling paste and texture and all that kind of stuff, are really difficult to work with because you're working in like, different levels each time. But this, you just take the single sheet and then take out and put in whenever you want to. So hook that through and then hook that through. And then I've got an art journal that I can add leaves in from whatever kind of cardstock that I want to add in. So I can add in craft cardstock, I can add black in, I can add white, watercolour cardstock, all that kind of stuff, and just build it up. And we've got that kind of depth before we even have to worry about closing the thing. So as you can see, with this art journal, it's quite thick now, but there's still a lot of room to be able to get a lot more in before it starts becoming a problem, before it starts wedging itself open like that. You can always create a clasp for it too. So that's it. All I have to do now, but I'm not going to do that today, is I can sit and decide how I'm going to decorate the front and back covers for my new Mission Inspiration Art Journal for 2018. Devil Dog. Da, da, da. <coughs> There's a good boy. Afternoon. Good boy. It's about half past two on Wednesday afternoon and we've decided to have a little walk out to the post office. Just me, him and the furry one. Say hello. Hello. Say hello to the furry one. <laughs> They've already said hello. Okay. So seeing as the weather's fairly nice, it's kind of warmish but not raining, which is a bonus. It's not 90 degrees though, is it? No, it's not 90 degrees and it's certainly not Miami weather, I'll tell you that. But Post still has to go out, website orders still have to be done, 
even though we're only five days away from Christmas. Is it the last posting day? It's a good job I'm getting this help today, isn't it? <coughs> it's one o'clock on the 21st of December. And we're going to Art from the Heart, it's exciting! Yes, we're going for a little trip out to Art from the Heart. Um, we will oh, excuse the bumping. Um, we weren't going to before Christmas, um, but Ian has run out of glossy accents and he uses them a lot in the building of his machines. And? And um, somebody's very kindly, thank you Kerry, sent me a gift voucher for Art from the Heart as well. You're clear to go from the left, Ian. Clear to go from the right. There we go. Um, so we thought we'd have a little tripette, um, all three of us. Yes. He's not hey, hey. He's, not, he's got his Christmas blanket, show the Christmas blanket. Look, he's got his little Christmas blanket. <laughs> and he loves it. He's also started and rapidly trying to unwrap the presents at home. He has. We have gifts under the tree and he's tried to isolate one or two. Strangely enough, they're actually his. Yes. How he knows, I don't know. I suspect there's doggy smelly things inside. I think there's a teddy in one. Well, Auntie Sheila says that there isn't. Oh, right, Auntie Sheila. All right, yes. fair enough. They're not edible, she says. Oh, right. So, well, that could mean anything really, yes. couldn't it? Um, but anyway, yes, so we're having a little tripette out. Um, so, estimated time of arrival, probably around about 1.30. Yep. Oh, I forgot to mention as well. Um, I replaced my iPhone holder for the car. Um, I ordered a new one from eBay. Well, it got it stolen. Was, yes, the original one got stolen. Yes, we won't go into that, thank you very much. No, but it's funny though, he stole the old sat nav and thought it was the... Yes, that they stole the, the holder thinking it was for the sat nav machine, but it wasn't. But and anyway. the sat nav machine was 15 years old. Yes, yeah, so they did us a favour. I've yeah. already gone through all this. All right, fair they enough. already know. Okay, that's stagecoach then, on it. Yes. Is that old? Yes, I know. So anyway, as I was saying, I replaced it. I ordered a new one from eBay. It only cost me just under five pounds, I think it was. Uh, around about eight dollars or so. And, um, but I just keep forgetting to put it in the car. So I'm holding this in my hand, hence the shake. And beautifully done. Thank you. So I was looking on YouTube the other night and I suddenly realized that this week, the one that you're watching, is my 45th weekly vlog. That's a lot of weeks. It's a lot of staying power for your viewers. Well, yeah, sticking with it. <laughs> Stick with it, yes. it'll get better. Yes, <clears throat> particularly when my life's not that exciting. But um, yeah, 45 weeks I've been doing this now for the, the weekly vlog. So I just hope it's not getting too boring for people. I'm sure it's not. Well, I hope not. I hope not. We could always take you hang gliding in a sideboard or crazy ironing. Yeah, like that's going to happen. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I've come all that way in the shop for Christmas. Never mind. So it's a quarter past three on the 22nd of December. So Christmas minus three, if you like. Three days to go to Christmas. Um, what a very productive day today. I sat down at the computer this morning uh, about half past nine um, to do a day job thing, um, which took me like five minutes. And then um, I had an idea. So I just started work on this idea. And um, just before I put my coat on to come out, I'd just finished the project, the idea. Um, so I've written a book today, <laughs> a 20 page, well, it's more of a, a workbook, a um, magazine kind of style thing. 
um, 20 pages and it incorporates and utilizes all of the prompts from every single mission inspiration from January 2016 right the way and including December 2017 so there are 24 mission inspiration um, prompt sets dating back from January 2016 uh, but also I've completely done a full set of A to Z of the mid-month mini missions also and included those in the book so um, so yes yeah, so there's 24 monthly prompt cards and also 26 of the mini mission running right the way from A to Z including X and Y in case you were wondering so and it's all done and it's all ready I've done and finalized all of the artwork it's all ready to go to print so it now depends on whether I can get this thing printed before or just after New Year but uh, as a lot of people will probably ask I am seriously considering making it available as a digi download too but it's quite large it's 170 megs um, which is quite a big size for a download file so and I don't really want to compromise on quality so I will have to find a way of being able to transport it without compromising on quality so even if I put it in as a zip file or a, an archive file something like that I'll find a way but yes so a full 20 page book completed in one day not bad so anyway um, as you gathered I'm in the car I'm on the way to the supermarket um, just to do some Christmas shopping so it's absolutely ram packed with it being the last Friday before Christmas um, everybody and their aunt is out um, and it looks as though there's going to be no parking spaces anywhere um, so I'm going to just have to um, what's that phrase I'm looking for oh are you suck it and see it's five to four I'm done that was absolutely completely and utterly painless every single checkout working they're not ins insisting that people stick to the basket only lane so you can go in any one you want to and they're all working like billy -o, which is lovely and i've just managed to get all of the real heavy stuff so most of the meat the turkey well turkey crown don't do a full turkey um beef joint mince i'm not getting any of the fresh vegetables because we're going to do that tomorrow with mum um but all the heavy stuff like the bottles of pepsi and, and coke and bottles of wine and all that kind of expensive and heavy stuff i've got today and of course mr bentley's um biscuits and meat and that kind of thing because he can't just exist on a diet of of turkey for the next week uh, as much as he'd want to um, so yeah I'm pretty pleased with how quick um, and easy that was and uh, I was able to cash in all our loyalty card points from our nectar that we've been saving up all year so it's actually only cost me um, just under a half so um, yeah so I'm happy with that so it, I got about 60% off with using the, the loyalty uh, points that I've exchanged for goods so yeah 60% off your shopping ain't bad so that's the wine paid for all the, the, the soda the pop the Pepsi the turkey the mince the beef joint all that paid for all freebies can't be bad so this traditionally is hell day so this is when everybody goes out panic buying because it's the last um the last shopping day before christmas um because you can't really count sunday being christmas eve because we have sunday opening hours here in the uk um so there will be a little bit of shopping going on tomorrow but probably the bulk 
of everybody will be out doing their last minutes today which means that it's going to be extremely busy on the roads and I have to get from um, from our house through the town centre and out the other side to travel south down <coughs> to where mum and dad lives because I'm going to pick them up for Christmas so hopefully I had planned on doing the whole trip and being back at base for 12 noon I don't think somehow that that is going to happen but we shall see Well, town was dead at 10.30 on a Saturday. No traffic at all, which is quite worrying. If I was a retailer, I'd want to know where everybody is. So it's about half past three on Sunday the 24th of December. It's Christmas Eve and the sun's just starting to dip and get dark now. So it's just starting to go down. And Ian and I thought we'd come out and have a little bit of a walk with Mr. Bentley. Mum and Dad are in sconce watching TV, all snuggled up on the settee. So just passing this house that's been almost derelict for years. Let me just turn it round. So this was a brand new build. That started almost how many years ago? Five years ago. Six years ago. Longer than that, I think. Probably about nearly nearly ten hours. It's got said. a floor underneath as well. Yeah, and it never ever got finished. Whoever did it must have um, run out of money. Hawk's nest, it's called. Yes. The top. Isn't it lovely? Apart from the fact that it's completely derelict. Well, it is now, and getting worse by the day. Such a shame. So anyway, as I was saying. Yeah, mum and dad are ensconced on the, on the settee, all snuggled up nice and warm, watching Christmas Eve nonsense. <laughs> we came out as they were watching something about buried treasure underneath the Alamo in Texas. We need our sanity. Yeah, so we've decided to come out for a little bit of a walk, a bit of fresh air, um, and just clear our heads. So, go on then, what did you want to say? I have a Christmas cracker joke. Why would, you, why would you always invite mushrooms to a party? Go on. Because they're such fun guys. <laughs> thought we would take this opportunity to draw this week's vlog to a close because it's also Christmas Eve we'd just like to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from all three of us so ta-ta for now bye-bye now